Gennady, Golovkin, and Manus Martirosian. You see the four-year age advantage for Martirosian. He's an inch and a half taller than Golovkin. Wearing tonight white trunks with multicolor trim. He weighed it officially 159 and one half pounds. In 40 professional bouts, his record, 36 victories, just three defeats, one draw, 21 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the two-time light middleweight world title challenger from Glendale, California, by way of a bulb in Armenia. Here is the nightmare, but it's Martirosia. And next, his opponent across the ring, finding out of the red corner. Wearing white trunks, trimmed in black, he weighed in 160 pounds even. As a professional, he has unbeaten 37 victories, including 33 knockouts, no defeats, and one draw from Karaganda, Kazakhstan. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the unbeaten, unified WBA Super, WBC, IBF, IBO middleweight champion of the world, Triple J, Gennady, Gennadyevich, Golovkin! Once again, referee Jack Reese with the final instruction. Right here? Right here for now? You guys want to exchange the flags? Okay, come here. This, Edmund, I just want to remind you, please listen and follow my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Good luck to both of you. For the first time, they heard about this monster, Triple G. Last fight was on pay-per-view, and here you can just watch him on regular H. Triple G has his reputation, because you were guaranteed to see if he has one of those moments in him tonight. And not to mention... <laughs> It's hard to find that in the sport yet, or, or, or still at this hour. But here, Don King promoted fighter in against Gennady Golovkin. Marty Rosen flashing a nice jab. Marty Rosen needs to jab in Golovkin's mouth. Golovkin lands the left hook. Oh, Marty Rosen's hurt. Golovkin known for his scary power in both hands. And would like to remind fans that after his last couple fights. That's what happens is again when you fight Tom Rosian considered a, a, a level below that. Yeah, he thought a good jab already here though, Max. Probably gonna let his head back a couple times. His head back one time. So we're getting some good exchanges in early. The bad thing for Bunnies is that that 24 month layoff is gonna take. Later in the fight, he'll get back comfortable and get in position. He's been in the gym, Roy, and he says he's been in the gym for the last 17 months, fairly continuously, for a long time, almost two years in his instance. Stop, stop. Are you more susceptible to drains so much energy from a fighter as yeah, most fighters yeah. know? Secondly, when you haven't been in there, the little things, the timing, the making a guy miss by a hairline. They say the last thing to leave a fighter is his punch. We've seen fighters age and lose that knockout snap. Boy, well, you know, think Marsh, Triple G Marsh, still Marsh, has Marsh, that Marsh, vaunted power? We always talk about Triple G being 36 years old, but Triple G is an elite fighter. An elite fighter at 36 is not a bad fighter still. 36 is not an old fighter, especially when you haven't taken a lot of punishment. And for those who well, haven't seen him before, we talk about Triple G's yeah. latest yeah. point that you expect to see knockout power from Triple G, but CompuBox counts him more than 10 jabs per round. Nobody else in boxing has done that. And he's landed 14 this round. A hard right hand. Glucking a little bit. I agree. And he and he hit him with a good right hand. Followed by a good jab. Yes. Glucking landed 15 jabs on the round, but only one hard power shot. Rosian hit him in the mouth with a right hand. That might have been the best punch of the round. Stop your defense, okay, D? Everything's working. Do what you're doing. You're doing you everything. Come in with a jab, a right hand, and Triple G thought it was over. Then all of a sudden, bing, there goes another jab, and that's what knocked him off balance with the punch. Yeah, I thought it was the right Number hand two, that had stunned him a little bit. It was Number the follow-up left. Right. Rosian came up in boxing in Southern California. A lot of Mexican, and he thinks he's, right hand by he's uniquely prepared for Golovkin's Mexican style, but those are some monsters. Uppercut by Golovkin, stop, and Martin stop, stop, Rosian stop, stop, stop. grabs and holds on. That uppercut really a good shot. He held on to Golovkin long enough to avoid being called for until his knee hit the canvas. Dak Reese ruled it a throw by Golovkin. 
And Jim, he turns it up right now. He can get him out before Punish ready. And he better do that because Punish is throwing some really big shots, but the ring rust is still really affecting him right now. We've seen this all before. And that's not good, though, man. Well, because to be a fighter that acts like you don't want no part of this in the early rounds while he's powerful until you get used to seeing him of his punches. Then you can act like it doesn't really matter. Right now, it does matter because it's a little tight. And it does look that way. And so Golovkin's got a lot of weight on his shoulders. Outside the ring stuff. And he gets hit with a right hand again by Marta Rosie. Oh, oh hard left to... Right hand Golovkin. Another left. Hard left to... Down goes Marta Rosie. He collapses. Five. As we picks up the count. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. The second round knockout for Golovkin. I would have got disqualified. I would have got disqualified. I don't think Triple G should be disqualified for that. That was exactly like the punch that you got disqualified for. G in his in his desire to score the knock was, uh, if anything, overzealous. He already down. And that Nate finishing shot. Pretty close. I'll have to look at the replay to see whether Martirosian actually was on the canvas or was in the process of going down. I, I wouldn't DQ a fighter for that, nor should you have been DQ'd. I agree. But that is, but technically, I believe he hit him when he was down. We'll see. Either way, he's got a new knockout streak. One. Here's another look. Once again, the uppercut that caused the problems early. Hit him right on the chin with a beautiful uppercut. Doesn't get any better than that, Jim. Now you see him coming in for the attack. Overhand right over the top, which finally got caught with him several times before. He comes back with a jab, another jab, a good jab to set up the right hand again. Whether Martirosian actually was on the canvas or was in the process of going. DQ a fighter for that, nor should you have been DQ'd. I agree. But, that is, but technically, I believe he hit him when he was down. We'll see. Here's another look. Once again, the uppercut that caused the problems early. Hit him right on the chin with a beautiful uppercut. Doesn't now you see him coming in for the attack. Overhand right over the top, which finally got caught with several times before. He comes back with a jab. Another jab. A big left hook, and that pretty much finished Bunnish right there. Followed by right hand, but Bunnish was out at that point. Another hook, boom, and now Bunnish it wasn't that bad. I don't think his knee had reached the canvas, but the glove may have. Technically, he's down. That. If the ropes are holding you up, you're down. That's right. And I think, guys, that was a clean knockout, even if it was a little um, uh, uh, a little messy at the end. Call Jack Reese is one of the very best. And here's Reese as the kid. And Golovkin seems to let out a little air. Relaxing, finally. After Seconds, all. round number two. Referee Jack Reese reaches the count of 10 for your winner. By KO victory, he is still unified middleweight champion of the world, Triple J. Gennady, Gennady Evans. Go First round wasn't his best. Second round was a wipeout. Ultimately, the result is what most ringside observers expected. An early to middle rounds knockout for Golovkin. Final CompuBox numbers, Golovkin closed the show, landing 11 of 15 power shots. Roy Jones with his brilliant analysis of the power barrage that ultimately put Martirosian away. He doubles Martirosian and landed punches. He throws 11 more. He lands at a 43% overall connect rate. He reinforced his reputation as the number one jabber in the sport as he lands 16 out of 30 power shots, 53%. You know what we've told you over the years about a fighter who lands more than 50% of his power shots. He lands 20 jabs in less than two complete rounds again. He's I feel great. I come back. I come back. Gennady, Vanas came over to me a moment ago and said, that is the hardest puncher I've ever faced. Do you feel like you had your power back tonight? Why weren't you able to do this in your last two fights? Mark, excuse me, give me a chance. Just I want to first of all, thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my friends from Kazakhstan, my family, and of course, my old fans of the world.
Thank you very much. It's huge support. And of course, yeah, Vanes, he is a very good fighter. He punched me a couple of times, you know, just after first round, I said, this is serious business. This is serious fight. That's what it looked like. It looked like he got your attention at the end of the first round and you came out all business in the second. Absolutely. This is uh, my second second round is all business. First round, just I'm looking just his strategy because I know his team very good attention team. At the end of the first round and you came out all business in the second. Absolutely. This is uh, my second second round is all business. First round, just I'm Look him, just his strategy, because I know his team, very good team. Congrats, and just, you know, just second round, this is true business. Given the date at which Canelo had to pull out of tonight's fight that was supposed to take place in Las Vegas, you had to come up with a last minute replacement opponent. Vanus has a name, he's a good fighter, he's a known fighter. He has a pleasing style, so it's understandable that he's a, a, a replacement opponent. But now this fight is over. The middleweight division is chock full of opponents who suddenly seem willing to fight you. What do you want to happen now? I want everybody. The 15 power shots, Roy Jones with his brilliant analysis of the power barrage that ultimately put Marta Rosie in a way.